Hello, so today I've got the Kosas, what do they call this? Their Dream Beam Comfy Smooth Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 40, which I started testing out a couple days ago. And uh, I was just applying it this morning. I thought, oh, I might as well just do a little video about it. So um, anyway, so I've got 21.7% zinc oxide as the star of this show. It's not very sunny out today. It wasn't very sunny out so far this week. Actually, I think the Cal... No. Canada wildfires kind of uh, impacted the sun. I'll take whatever sun protection I can get. Although when people are losing their homes and stuff, it's not very fun. But anyway. Uh, okay, so this one is fragrance-free. Uh, the main complaint from what I read online are uh, people complain that it pills. And uh, so I will say, if you apply this over a full morning skincare routine, apply this and then apply foundation over it, it will pill. So for me, what I found, if I apply this, so I wash my face, I apply the Geek and Gorgeous Vitamin C Serum or whatever vitamin C serum you want, and then apply this, it's enough for my skin when it's kind of humid out, so without following up with tons of layers, and then I'll apply this and just set it with powder and I don't have any issues with pilling. And I'm pretty confident I'm applying it liberally. Uh, so in here we've got, uh, for exciting ingredients, we've got a lantlin, we've got some frugosaccharides, which are uh, sugar-based humectants, bioflavonoids, uh, ceramide, bisabolu, and then uh, sodium hyaluronate, which is probably the cause of some of the pilling for people. Um, otherwise, there's not too much else exciting in here. Uh, there's no tint thing. So actually, I start out, and I have just applied to my forehead, and that's when I stop. I should, oh, I should might as well make a quick video. So you can kind of see the tone difference. But does anybody notice that these two brands do things in tandem quite often? I don't think they're owned at all by the same company, but one will, will release this sunscreen, then the next will release a sunscreen. One will release a regular foundation. The next one does that. One releases a serum foundation. But I, anyway, I don't know. It's just weird. I just noticed that. And these brands seem to have a, kind of the same type of clean type aesthetic. But anyway, okay, so... It's got a nice applicator in here. I will say it's a little expensive. How much is in here? 1.4 ounces. So that's a little deceptive. It's bigger than what you think. You get a little bit more product, but that's still for a foundation, not a whole lot. So, okay, so there we go. I'm applying about that much. And I think it works well if you're if you don't apply any foundation over it, that, that's when it works the best. Once you start applying other things over it or too much under it, that's when the pilling becomes a bit, bit of a problem. Make sure to get around your eye area. That's my friend got skin cancer and that's where she got was right around her eye. Probably because she didn't have that area protected as much as the rest of her face. So, there we go. It is a bit shiny initially when you apply it, but you start with a little bit of powder. It's not terribly shiny. Or if you don't apply it over a ton of different moisturizers, it's not as bad. So, okay, hang on. I'm going to wash my hand off and then I'm going to set it with powder. So, hang on one second. Definitely seems to have some, uh, definitely beads up a little bit when you wash your hands over it, so, when you put water over it, so, anyway. I don't think it says anything about, oh, it says, use a water-resistant sunscreen of swimming or sweating, so, there you go. So, if you're swimming a lot or sweating a lot, don't use this one, and you know what, if you're swimming a lot or sweating a lot, I just... Typically, most of the mineral ones just won't do it, so. But I think this evens out skin tone enough where you don't need to follow it up with the foundation or anything, so. For me, on a day where I'm just running errands, it's good enough for me. So there we go. And I just set it with the Jor Soft Focus. Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder, which I, I love, but I can tell they're getting rid of it because... It's hardly anywhere available, so. Oh, one other thing. 
I re have been trying the Yamroot Vegan Milk Cleanser because I love the other two products from this line so, so much and I'm liking it a little bit more. I don't dislike it as much as I did initially, so I'll keep playing with it. So I'm warming up to it. So that's improvement. Anyway, okay. Well, that's all I got for you today. The Kosas Dream Beam. A little bit of chat about Ilya, because something about these two brands seem related, but they're not, but but they are. Anyway. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Okay. Bye now.